This is Kafue National Park in Zambia. Home to an abundance of wildlife, one of Zambia's longest rivers, flowing for almost a thousand miles, and a team of dedicated staff who care for the area and everything in it. But all of that is under threat. The coronavirus pandemic has caused fears of a spike in poaching. So what they do is they go into restricted areas like a national park so that maybe they can find something for Mahala, something they can eat. The global travel freeze has seen the tourism that funds most wildlife protection in Africa grind to a halt. Wildlife-based tourism has evaporated overnight and so that's having a huge impact on the budgets of wildlife and conservation departments. Now, both communities and conservation are struggling. Covering more than 8,000 square miles, Kafue is Zambia's largest national park. Rangers comb this area for poachers. These units are from Zambia's Department of National Parks and Wildlife. They work with NGO Game Rangers International, supported by the conservation group Space for Giants. We have different types of patrols at SAPO. The first one, which is the normal daily patrols, where we go in the patrol, we go in the bush. Either we do ambushes or we do daily patrols within the area. The other type of operation is investigation laid. We have informers within the communities that give out information. Then us as sub officers we act on that information until the suspect is prosecuted in the court of law. Any human activity in the park is considered illegal. It's up to rangers to apprehend poachers to protect the park's ecosystem. Over the last 10 years, more than a thousand arrests have been made in Kafue National Park. These efforts have led to a decline in elephant poaching specifically, though populations of lions, wild dogs and cheetah have also begun to recover in the area. But now, rangers are concerned that poaching may be on the rise. So like during this uh, June, July, we have had a lot of uh, illegal activities in the park and we have apprehended about almost six poachers just within the two months. And uh, according to my suspicions, I suspect that it could be because of the COVID-19. Tourism is a vital sector across Africa, providing jobs for around 24 million people. On average, a safari tourist spends almost 500 US dollars a day but the COVID-19 crisis has drastically reduced travel to Africa as the pandemic rages on. Fewer and fewer tourists are coming to parks like Kafue. This means that communities like this one, which rely on the park for income, are suffering. The COVID-19 crisis has interrupted crucial conservation efforts. So as a result, we'll be losing a lot of money, we'll be losing employment because most of, our, most of us here, we rely on wildlife and we're employed because of wildlife. So we value wildlife. If families continue to struggle without income owing to COVID-19, there are fears some will turn to poaching for meat or to supply the illegal wildlife trade. They need something to eat and they can't go to the market to buy food because of restricted movements. They cannot sell and they cannot buy. So what they do is they go into restricted areas like a national park so that maybe they can find something for Mahala, something they can eat, at least something for their table. This causes an added problem for these rangers, who use Kafue's neighbouring villages to help with the poaching problem. Julius and his team work with locals to catch poachers in the act. We go with them to play football in the communities. They're able to interact with us and they're able to tell us, OK, there are these activities going on in this area. And from there, you'll be able to pick up the information, go back to your base and rearrange and then do the operation. The fear is, if legal revenue such as tourism and hunting are gone for good, more and more will be enticed by wildlife crime. There's a real danger that as other issues, healthcare, obviously poverty, uh, those sorts of issues kick in. It means that nature conservation is gonna be kicked um, down the road. 
International conservation charity Space for Giants has worked with rangers in Botswana, Kenya and Zimbabwe for more than a decade. Here in Zambia, it supports Game Rangers International by funding specialist training to help fight the illegal wildlife trade. So we are starting to see the impacts of that now, and that's only a, you know, four months after the crisis really kicked in. So we're anticipating it to really bite in the, in the coming months. Most of the equipment that we've been using, Space for Giant provided them or supplied them to us. The GPS we actually we use it for navigation. We are able to detect and mark areas where we find the poacher trails. Even in the next operation, if we were to check on those activities, if people or poachers are still going into those areas, it would be easy for us to track. COVID-19 is thought to have made the jump to humans from a live animal market in China. This means that the illegal wildlife trade could have caused not just a global pandemic, but also may contribute to a rise in poaching. That's why The Independent and The Evening Standard have launched the Stop the Illegal Wildlife Trade campaign. This aims to protect endangered species during a conservation funding crisis sparked by the pandemic. It's too early to gauge the full impact of coronavirus on Zambia and its people. But by uniting against the illegal wildlife trade, we can protect endangered species from becoming yet another victim of the COVID-19 crisis. Mm -hmm.